everyone, can you self-study for AP Biology? Maybe the question should be, should you self-study for AP Biology? Well, stay tuned for the answers in this video. First of all, I am an AP Biology teacher, and I want to give a little disclaimer about I really encourage students to actually take the course rather than to self-study. I have a handful of students every year who ask me if I have any resources to self-study for the exam, and the answer is yes, I do, and yes, it is possible to self-study for this AP Biology test. But I really encourage students to take the course for the full experience of the course, meaning you get the labs, you get hands-on experiences, you get the information explained to you, you get the structure, you get the accountability. There's many, many reasons that the course is a better experience than just self-studying. You may miss something or not understand something that could be critical to your further pursuit of biology if you want to go into medicine or pursue bi biology at the collegiate level. So my short answer is, Take the course if you can, but you may not be in a situation where that's possible. Maybe it's not offered at your school, maybe the teacher isn't right for you, maybe during the COVID pandemic you're just feeling you're not getting the full experience of the AP Biology course and you need to self-study to prepare for the exam. So let's talk about how you might be able to self-study for the AP Biology exam if that's the option for you. First of all, gather your information. You need a few things to be successful for the exam, and the number one thing is knowing exactly what this exam is about, when it is, what's on it, etc. All of that information is going to be available to you on the College Board's website. Remember, this is officially dictated by the College Board, what's on the exam, when it is, and all of the content within it. So the most important resource for you is going to be finding the College Board's description of the exam. This is a really long document, and they update it. Uh, every once in a while. So you want to find the most recent version, which right now is the 2020 ver version of the course and exam description, and this is what it looks like here on the screen. Um, once you find that, you probably want to just start by skimming through it to get a general overview about what's on the exam, but it's pretty helpful because it breaks down what content is actually on the test, some examples of that content, as well as the breakdown of percentages. So please take a look at that and use it at really as the backbone of your study plan. The other thing you're going to want to do is talk to your ex AP exam coordinator at your school because they can help you get registered for the exam to actually be there in the room and take it on the day of the exam. This is normally a little bit easier of a process for students actually enroll, enrolled in the course. So if you're not enrolled in an AP course or if you're homeschooled or you're doing an independent study, make sure you get with the school that's actually going to be offering the exam to get signed up. And generally this is going to be sometime in the spring semester leading up to the AP exam. So you want to make sure you make that contact right away so that you have that ready to go and you can pay the exam fee. Alright, the next step is gathering your materials. You can't just Google everything for the AP Biology exam and be ready to go. There is some prep work that needs to go into it. It doesn't have to be very expensive. You don't have to pay for a private tutor, but some of the resources that I recommend are at least one prep book. So these are books that have practice questions in them and have a content overview, and at least one textbook resource that goes a little bit deeper into the background of the content. Now there's a few textbooks out there that actually target the content focused on the AP exam. A lot of teachers like to use Campbell's Biology. Um, one of my favorite resources though is the OpenStack textbook. I'll link to that in the description below. But that one is free and online and easily searchable. So if you're looking for an online textbook that's really easy to access, OpenStax is great. The other thing about this though is that it does cover content that goes beyond the AP exam. So always go back to that course and exam description to see if you are focusing on something that's actually on the exam or something that's just a little bit extraneous as far as exam prep material goes. The next thing you're to want to do is always keep that uh, course and exam description handy. It's an online PDF. If you want to print it out, you can print it out. It'll be a lot of pages, but you can have that ready to go. And I really recommend getting a notebook where you can hand write your notes. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. The next thing you want to do is find a few key resources to always be your go-tos. I really recommend uh, as many students do, the Bozeman Biology or Mr. Anderson's videos. He does a great job of describing some of the content. The only thing though is he published most of his AP videos before they changed the exam a little bit in 2019. So some of his videos may be out of date with respect to the current exam. So just check on the information. Again, go back to that course and exam description to see if what he's talking about actually is going to be on the exam. Um, some students like to do a skim of the course and exam description and then look up videos to make sure that they 
they truly understand the content to see examples. Khan Academy can get a little bit uh, boring or and can go a little bit beyond some of the course content, but what you can use for Khan Academy is they do some really good reviews of the free response questions. So that I recommend. And of course, I gotta plug my YouTube channel. I try to do some good short content, some review videos, just to make sure students really have the grasp of those core ideas um, instead of the longer form exam prep materials. Another thing that's really key to self-study for AP Bio is to make a schedule. It is not a good plan to say like, all right, I'm gonna make sure I do a four hour study session every weekend before the exam. No, it's much better if you can break it up. Remember, AP Biology is a co college level course, so you wanna make sure that you have enough time built out in your schedule to cover all of that college level content throughout the year or throughout the semester that you're preparing. I've heard of students being successful blocking out 20 minutes in their schedule uh, every weekday to just do AP Biology review or reading or flashcards, and that can be really, really helpful to you if you can do it in short chunks rather than longer study sessions. But make sure you write that schedule down and and stick to it and make yourself and hold yourself accountable. All right, the next huge recommendation I have for students self-studying for AP Bio is to hand write your notes. This is something that's really key. Um, actually, you can process the information better. You take it down slower. Um, there's different things in your brain that are happening when you're writing down your notes versus typing them, and you can always go back to them and review them in different ways. I understand not wanting to handwrite notes. I have messy handwriting. I was a science major. Uh, it's all over the place, but handwriting notes actually has a cognitive benefit to you, so I really recommend doing this in the notebook that you are devoting to AP Biology. The most important, the most effective way to study is practice questions. So after you understand or get the basic understanding of a topic, you should go back and review and make sure you actually can apply that knowledge through practice questions. There's dozens of them out there, but the best way to access these are through old exams, which I'll link in the description below, or also through prep books. So hopefully you already decided you want to get a good prep book by now. Next up, make sure you block out time before the exam to complete a practice exam that's going to be the same duration of the actual AP exam. I do this with my students in my AP Bio class just so you can practice that testing endurance, making sure you can sit and be thinking and there and present for the entire time, and it does really help to actually just get in the mindset of taking the full test. There is a released exam from 2013 that's publicly available online that you can take and then self-grade. It's not exactly up to date with the current course and exam description, so there may be a few things you don't need to know, but the bulk of it is reflective of what's on the AP Biology curriculum right now. All of the old FRQs from years past are published online by the College Board along with their answer keys, so I recommend 100% going back and doing these old FRQs little by little so you can practice understanding what these questions are going to look like, practice responding, and then seeing what you would score. And the actual act of grading your own answers really helps with understanding and can absolutely help you do well in the AP exam. And lastly, my last tip for you if you're self-studying for the AP exam is to ask for help. This is really important. It can be within your own school community. So ask other students in AP Bio right now if they have notes or study guides or information to share. Ask the current AP Bio teacher if they have resources they can recommend to you. I have a lot of great resources I can pass on to students who ask me if they want to self-study for the AP Bio exam. Maybe teachers at your school will be willing to do this as well. It doesn't hurt to ask. You can also go online. There's lots of message boards. Reddit is a good place to start for students self-studying for the AP Bio exam, especially if you come across a problem or a concept you just really don't get. There's discords out there. Find a place that works for you and make sure you are asking for the help that you need as you are preparing for this exam. I hope these tips have been helpful and students who have followed these tips in the past have actually done pretty well. I've had several students in the past who've self-studied for the AP Bio exam with these tips in mind, stuck to a schedule and scored a three or four on the exam. So that's a passing score and that's great. If you wanna learn more about AP Bio content, study tips or any other science stuff, make sure you subscribe to this channel and thanks so much for watching. See you later.